Hey friends, as requested following my last video, I'm going to be showing you how to create a study planner using Excel. By the end, you'll have created a step-by-step -step plan that takes you through all that you need to do between now and exams. I love this planner because it shows me exactly what I need to study, how I need to study it, and when I need to study it by, completely destroying decision fatigue. So if you'd like to create something that looks a little like this, Bring out your laptop, grab a drink, and let's get into it. So the first thing to do is open up Excel and title it with the subject you are creating the study plan for. You'll then want to create a list of all your topics on the left-hand side like this. You'll often find your topics by looking through your syllabus, chapters, or lecture handouts. Make sure this list accurately covers everything you need to know for the exams. Once that's done, here comes the exciting part. Hold on to your wigs. On these top cells going across, we now start to list all the steps that we will be following. It may look complicated, but I'll talk you through each one. Ultimately, all the steps can be divided into the following categories. Things to do before the class, at the class, soon after the class, exam application, and memorization. This is the process your study planner ought to follow in order to ensure you're successfully ready to impress in any assessment. Your study plan may not look exactly like mine depending on your course and how best you learn, but it should follow a similar process. If it does, then you're good to go. Now, in terms of my specific process, here is what I do at each stage. This is a completed version of my study plan just by way of example to help me explain. So these are my before the class steps, this is at the class, these are my after the class steps, these two are exam application steps, and these are my memorization steps, with a bonus timed exam practice step at the end if I have time. During all these steps here, I am building one mighty word document full of notes and answers for the exam. At the skeleton and first watch stage, I skim through the relevant chapter and lecture recording, introducing myself to the topic and starting to build up the skeleton of my notes. The second watch and read stage is where I go through the relevant chapter and lecture recording again with more precision, making sure that I'm following and understanding the content as much as possible. This stage definitely requires a good amount of effort and study snacks may be necessary. We are also given multiple choice questions to test our knowledge. So once I finish the second watch and read stage, I do these to see how confident I am with the material. Most of the time, I'll still be unclear on a fair amount of things. So I color code my sheet accordingly. Red for what a disaster, amber for progress, but still a way to go. And green for <laughs> mother, I'm a lawyer. This color coding system applies for the rest of the study planner. It just allows you to see what you need to come back and work on later. At this stage, just before my small group session, I complete the work given to us for preparation. Then when I attend the small group session itself, I tick it off color coding how confident I felt at the session. Remember, throughout all of these steps, we're building our mighty word document of notes, adding whatever we're learning to refer back to and commit to memory later. After the class, I then complete the consolidation activities given by my university and reflect on the learning outcomes to see how confident I am with them. The first time round, there'll be a lot of ambers and maybe even reds. This is completely fine. Now you can go back to the earlier steps and strengthen your understanding. Keep doing this until you can turn those colors into greens. I also include a stage to encourage myself to write a list of questions that I still have. I'll then send these to my tutor for clarification. By now, much of the groundwork has been done. Once you feel confident enough, start to complete the past paper questions and check your answers with the examiner reports. These are often full of gold when and only when you feel that you've built a comprehensive set of notes for all your topics the next stage is to print them off and start committing it all to memory the memorization technique i use is called active recall i read through my notes and try to recall what i've written relying on the notes less and less each time i can mark this green when i'm able to recall and explain my notes for each topic without looking at the paper 
Finally, if I have time before the exam date, I'll go back to past papers and start to complete them within the same time constraints I'd be under in the exam. And that's it. It's quite a process, but it's entirely worth it. If you've just created the plan, then it won't look like this, but like this. And you'll have the fun of filling it in over the next few weeks and months leading up to your exams. I hope this video motivated you to create an awesome study plan. Subscribe to this channel for more work, study and productivity related content. I hope to see you win. See you in the next one.